And I'm I'm glad I'm 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 proud and I'm glad that you've become a great man too, man. You know, and I didn't say that Thank when you, you said it earlier. And I know you're my brother, and it just it's it makes me happy to see you with your kids and. Right. I enjoy it as much as I know you're enjoying it, and I enjoy it seeing it. So I can just imagine you, how how much joy yeah, and, man. and happiness it's, it's, it brings you. You know, it's beautiful, man. I love my kids. You know. Yeah, it is a beautiful. It's beautiful. Thing. It is a lot of work, yeah. you know. Uh, one thing I can say, and a lot of people probably know this, um, it's uh, just be ready to have kids. Like, I was ready. Yeah. You know? I was mentally ready, you know, um, economically ready, everything ready, you know. And I did it. We did it. Me and my wife. Or, you know, I call her my wife because in God's eyes, I feel like that's my wife, even though we're not um, legally married yet. But that is the goal, right? Yeah. Um, and that's how it is in Hispanic households, right? You've been with somebody for so long, you have kids. Oh, that's my wife, right? That's just how it goes. You know? And I think, honestly, um, society kind of messes all that up because even though you guys aren't, let's say, quote, quote, married, you easily, guys have been right. living in the same house. You guys have been loyal, committed in a, in a relationship. Right. Now you have kids and your love's growing, right? And you see it. So it is a right. marriage. It's just not quote quote Legal. right like the like like the society says oh you guys aren't married it's like no you guys are but you know. <clears throat> right and i think it's always been i think society puts so much pressure on marriage and marriage and marriage but it's it's always been like that but i think it's about two people right how you feel right how she feels right and how the love grows and i think that's that's important because back in the day like thinking right was there even like a marriage no it was just a word of commitment like i love you when you say that to somebody right you're basically committing, right? Yourself. Right, we jumped the broom, in other right, words. Yeah, right, yeah, exactly. Hey, made it over the other side, in other words. Right? I think society just, you know, ruins everything, to be honest. Yeah, damages a lot of things. Like, this is what you're supposed to do. This is supposed, what it's supposed exactly. to look like. It's like, well, not all of us are there yet. Yeah. <laughs> <You know? laughs> exactly. So, chill exactly. the fuck out. <laughs> You know, mm -hmm. I know this might sound backwards, but I feel like one, once you find somebody that you love and want to share your life with, that's what should matter, you know? Yeah. And like in Hispanic households, you have a family, you have kids, you're married, bro, you know? Mm -hmm. And to me, I know it costs a lot for a wedding, right? You have experience in this. Yeah. You, you've done it, yeah, you know? Expensive. So I'd rather put that money towards, towards purchasing a home, you get me? Instead of that right now. Yeah. And then when we can, that might be secondary. That's just my opinion, the way I look at it. Because For it's sure. like, yeah, we can just go to the court. Go get married tomorrow, right. legally. Financial, you know? financial you priorities, it right, bro. You know? Right, exactly. You know, that's all it is. Yeah. You know, everybody sees it different. They're in different situations. Maybe people don't have kids. So they're like, well, maybe it's better for us to get married first and then build the family and then yeah. get them. And know? that's why you see a lot of but older people getting married. You know, I've seen that, too. I've seen, like, 50-year-olds, 60-year-olds getting married because they've lived their life. And, you know, it's sometimes right. it's so, so complicated because, like, you get with somebody, a woman or whatever, and then it's a divorce, you know, regardless of him or her divorcing because of, you know, greedy or selfish situations that they're dealing with. And then you're dealing with all that drama with the kids and everything and, like, the lawyers. And right. it's just a big mess, you know. And a lot of yes. people, because they've seen that, are scared are scared to that commitment of marriage and doing it through the books or like what quote, quote, how you say because of that. And I think that has a lot of part to right. do with it too. Cause you know, you want to be with somebody who wants to be with you, not be with right. you because of financial status or right. green cards or, you know what I'm saying? And some people will yeah. play that game and that's the unfortunate. Unfortunately, reality. that's the sad world that we live in. Yeah. You know? you know, there's no, there's no meter, right? There's no like, right actual meter physical meter that says i can trust this person you're just kind of putting it all out there you put it on the like table. hey i'm trusting you yeah you know you trust me too but it's like you know it's hard yeah and unfortunately it doesn't pan out that way for some people yeah and you really just have to get to really know a person exactly you know? 